this video we're going to be outlining our leaves so you should by now have something that looks a bit like this it might look a little bit wobbly um, it might look like it needs a bit of tidying up if you want to you could block your leaves individually as you finish them that's something that I might talk about another time um, but I don't think that they do need blocking but if you prefer to you could just pin them out give them a little bit of a steam or just spray them with water and flatten them down they will eventually find the correct shape so don't worry too much about that um, this is what mine look like in the Rowan felted tweed so a little bit spindly look like they need a good watering and tidying up and this is what we're aiming for so to have a really nice dark contrasting outline so in the same way that you've outlined your flowers we're going to be outlining the leaves so there aren't any difficult stitches it's all double crochets and slip stitch. The difficulty is though in the accuracy of your stitches. You just need to make sure that you're putting them in the right places and that you've got the right number of stitches. So what I would say is take your time with these. Um, there's no hurry. It's better to just take it slowly, enjoy the process um, and get it right and it's probably going to take you one or two goes before you get something that you're happy with so don't be in a hurry to do them um, so we're going to do two outlining rounds so mine's in the seafarer and we're also going to do um, this chain stitch outline that you did in the flowers as well so that's three rounds that we're going to do um, in this tutorial. I'm going to be using a contrasting colour just for the purposes of this video. When you're making your leaves then um, I imagine you're going to be outlining them with the same colour that you've used for your flower outlines so that's going to be something quite dark so we're looking for a really nice dark contrast between the outlining rounds and the colour of these leaves. You'll probably find one of these very useful. Um, there's a lot of poking about, trying to find the right place to put your stitches. So um, something with a good point on it will be useful. I certainly find it useful. And also, um, I've chosen a hook which has got a slightly more pointed tip. So normally I would prefer to work with a hook like this. Um, but today I'm going to be using this one because it's slightly more pointed. So we're going to work round one and round one is worked through the back of the loop. So the whole round is worked through the back of the loop. So we're going to join our colour to the third DC on the stem between leaves one and two. So this is leaf one, this is leaf two. So we're going to be joining it here. And, and it's the third DC. So we're not going to count this one. Um, we're going to count from there. So one, two, three. That's where we're starting. And we'll start with one chain. That counts as a DC and then three DCs. And then three slip stitches. takes us to the base of our leaf. So this is leaf two now that we're going to work round. 
we're going to miss this chain here okay so this is the first DC and there's a chain stitch here we're going to miss that one and this is where we want to go it's quite small it looks slightly smaller than the other um, DC stitches so you might want to just get in there and open that up a bit and we're going to do three slip stitches five DCs We'll do a DC increase into the next two stitches. So that's two DCs into this stitch and two DCs into the next one. And it's one DC and a DC increase two DCs and a DC increase one DC And a DC increase into the next two stitches. Five DC. and three slip stitches and that will take us to the beginning um, of our leaf. Now we're going to miss this DC so we're not going to work into that one and now we're going to work into the DC right at the base of the leaf with a slip stitch three slip stitches in total so we're now working our way down the stem so I've done three slip stitches and then it's four DCs and then three slip stitches and then we're ready to start leaf number three so we're going to miss one chain so that's here and we're going to work into our very first DC at the beginning of that leaf so again if it's a little bit small if you can't get in there very easily open it up a little bit and we're in there with three slip stitches and we'll work our way around this petal in exactly the same way as the previous one
I've just finished my third leaf or leaf number three and so I've done my three slip stitches and then I'm going to miss a DC and it's a slip stitch into the next stitch and a slip stitch into the next chain I'm going to miss a chain and then I'm slip stitching into my first DC so just like we did at the beginning of the other two um, leaves so there's a chain there that we're going to miss and then we're going into the top of this first DC and it's three slip stitches DC and then we'll continue to work in exactly the same way as we did on the two previous leaves. I'm going to complete leaf number four now. I've just done my five DC. So I've got two DC increases. One DC. One increase. 2 DC. One increase. One DC. Two increases. Five DC. Three slip stitches. And now I need to work my way from leaf four to leaf number five. So I'm going to miss a DC and then I'm going to work two DCs, one into each of the next two stitches. miss a chain then I'm ready to start on leaf number five with my three slip stitches and then five DC two increases DC, one increase, two DC, one increase, one DC, two increases. and 
three slip stitch. I've just finished outlining leaf number five. done my three slip stitches I'm going to miss a DC and now I'm ready to work down my stem so I'm going to do three slip stitches Four DCs. And three slip stitches. now at the base of my next leaf so I'm going to miss a chain and work a slip stitch into my first DC. So this leaf is the same as all the others so we'll begin with three slip stitches, five DCs and continue to outline the petal, the um, leaf. So I've just worked round um, leaf number six. By the time you've got to this point, hopefully you should have kind of got the rhythm of the pattern. So um, I'm about to do the next part of the stem. And so I've just finished my three slip stitches on leaf number six. I'm going to miss a DC and then I'm going to work three slip stitches four DCs, three slip stitches, and that will take me to the base of leaf number seven. So I'm going to work that, and then we'll pick this video up again when I'm about to turn um, around the corner at the base of the stem. I've just completed um, leaf number seven, and so now I'm about to work my way around the base of the stem. So I've completed three slip stitches um, at the end of that leaf. I'm going to miss one DC and then I'm going to work my way down the stem. So I'm going to do three slip stitches. So I'll do one, two, three slip stitches, two DCs, one, two, and then in here, there is actually a chain space. So on the previous round, um, there's a DC, a chain space, and a DC. So in that chain space, I want to effectively work a little corner. So in there, I'm going to do um, a DC, a chain, and a DC. That will make that first little corner. And then depending on how you joined on your previous round, because this is where you've got a join, um, I now I do a chain stitch join. So that's going to give me a chain here, which is where I'm going to work my second corner. But somehow you need to find a chain here, depending on how you've done that join. There's a space there to put your one DC, one chain, one DC to work a second corner corner okay once you've worked that second corner then you're going to work your way back up the stem and you're going to do two DCs one two DCs and three slip stitches one two three and then that's going to take you to the base of your first leaf leaf number number one so you'll miss this chain as you have in all the previous leaves and then start here 
in that first DC. So that's one, two, three slip stitches in there. So the trickiest bit here for you is going to be just kind of working out where those two little corner um, corners need, need to go. So you might want to count your stitches back from the base of the leaves. One, two, three slip stitches, one, two, DC. And the same um, here as well. One, two, three slip stitches, one, two, DC. And then this is where you're going to work your first corner. So I hope that's clear. The main thing is that you get the same number of stitches either side and you've got something that vaguely looks like um, corners at the bottom. They're not going to be kind of sharp corners. So I'm going to miss this DC. I'm going to do my three. Slip stitches, one, two, three, two DCs. And then in here, I'm going to work my corner. So that's a DC and a chain and a DC all into the same space. And now in the next space, I'm going to work a DC, a chain and a DC. Now I'm working two DCs, so making sure they're in the back of the stitch and three slip stitches. And that takes me to the base of this leaf. So I'm going to miss that chain stitch, start in that first DC with my three slip stitches and complete this leaf in the same way as the others. So you can see that that should give you a nice even shape at the base of the stem. I've nearly finished this round. So I've just completed leaf number one and I've done my three slip stitches. So I'm now at the base of that leaf and I'll miss one uh, stitch here and I'll do three slip stitches and that will complete that part of the stem. And then I'll finish the round by slipping into that very first chain stitch. And that completes your first outlining round. So if you've done that, well done.